Hey, what is up, guys? It is G-Dog here. Today, we're going to be counting down uh, something new. We're going to be counting down my top ten movies that I hate, but everyone else seems to like. You ever have a movie that you just cannot stand, but then you look at everyone else saying that it's a masterpiece or you like it? Well, this is my list. This is my top ten movies that I hate, but everyone else likes. And if you guys want to see me do another uh, one, let's say, like, top ten movies I like, but everyone else hates, drop a like. Hey, anyway, let's get started. Uh, coming number, um, coming number 10 is Logan Lucky. I, oh my gosh. I wanted to like this film. I really wanted to love this film. But for some reason, I found myself disappointed with it. I thought it was very boring to watch. Uh, it was a little bit overly long, even though it's under two hours. Uh, Channing, Channing Tatum is trying, I guess you can say that. But it's not, it's not a fun film. Like I said, as you can see from my words there, it's not a terrible film, but it's not good. I was disappointed with this one. Really, if I had to give it, like, a grade, I think I'd give it a C-. minus. Nothing god-awful, just not good. Number nine um, is Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. Oh, gosh. This should have been like like Michael Keaton versus uh this should have been Michael Keaton versus uh, Christopher Reeves or it should have been Christian Bale versus Henry Cavill, but now it's just a stupid it's stupid in both categories you know an action adventure fantasy. This film I like I do like the fight scene when Batman and Superman are fighting each other. When that happens, that those are pretty good fight scenes. But overall, the movie just sucks overall. I was disappointed, and if I had to give it a grade, I think I'd give it a C-. My number 8 is Black Panther. Uh, I had a ranking of all of the um, Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, but I got rid of it, because, you know, Avengers Infinity War came out. Yeah, Black Panther was, he was okay in Civil War, as you could see, but him having his own movie was just dreadful to sit through. It's over two hours long, I... I couldn't stand this movie. I know some people do like this movie, and that's completely fine. I'm not saying you should hate this movie. I'm saying, you know, you can do whatever you want, but I was disappointed with this movie. If I had to give Black Panther a grade, I think I'd give it a C-. minus. It's just not good. Oh, boy. You guys are going to hate me, but number seven is Thor Ragnarok. In my opinion, this was a very disappointing movie. But because the trailers, I'm mean, from the thing below, the trailers, they got me interested. It, they were, it was promising, but the only problem with it were, was, I saw, and I was just like, oh gosh, what did they do wrong with this movie? I really wanted to love this movie, but I was fairly disappointed. It's got, it has good effects and good action, and Chris Hemsworth has Thor. He always tries, and that's what I like about him, but it, I just was disappointed. It's way better then, you know, what was it, Thor the Dark World? Way better than that, but just a disappointing movie for me. Um, number six is Sweet Home Alabama. If you guys have ever heard of this movie, good. Because like, this movie just sucks. It's, I, see, I hear a lot of people saying this comedy is really good. Like I said, it's not the worst comedy, but I just don't like this one. Oh, and I, you can clearly see I forgot to put like there. But man, I don't, this movie just... <laughs> Oh, gosh, what is wrong with me? But anyway, Sweet Home Alabama is just a terrible film. It's dreadful to sit through. Oh, it's got bad acting and horrible direction. And overall, I just, I think I'd give it, I don't know, I think I'd give, actually, I forgot to say Thor Ram Rock. I think I'd give a C minus. Yeah, I think I'd give Sweet Home Alabama, this is the first D, a D plus. It, this film was dreadful to sit through. Number five is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I liked the first one a lot. I thought the first one was pretty well decent. I had fun with the first one. How do you mess, how do you mess a sequel up? You just make a boring plot with foreign character. There's not stunning animation. And you just make it not fun to watch. Like, none of these are just fun to watch. Like, I can understand a sequel. Maybe the same thing happened. And with another person trying to create the same thing. But no, they just, this has nothing to do with the first film. They just go back to the island, and the whole island is just covered with burgers, with like food products that are just, you know, they're food products, monsters. Uh, what, how much time we're at? Four or five minutes, okay.
Um, but yeah, kind of a chance of meatballs too sucks. If I had to give it a grade, I think I'd give it a D plus. Just go watch it. Watch the first one. Number four, Mulan Range. Oh boy, I couldn't get into this one. I will say it was entertaining in some bits, but my god, this movie sucked. That's all I gotta say. This movie was terrible. And I think I'd give it a D for a grade. That's all I gotta say. Number three. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. This horrendous movie just disappointed me. I really wanted to like this movie. Everyone else loved it. I didn't. I love The Empire Strikes Back. You'll probably see a link in the Star Wars soon, but... Oh, man, I just couldn't stand this movie. Really? Why? Like, why did this movie fail? No one knows. If I had to give it a grade, I think I'd give it probably a D. A D. Definitely a D. Number two, The Hangover. The sequels, we all know that the sequels are garbage, but I thought this one was pretty garbage, too. It just, it's boring. This movie, this movie is stupid and boring. I don't really care about these characters having a hangover. Seriously. If I had to get a good, I think I would actually give this one a D minus. I'm not even joking. A D minus, I would give this one, really. It's just, it, it completely sucks. It's stupid. It's boring. It just sucks. And the number one movie that I hate, but everyone else seems to like, is. Frozen. Oh my god. As you can see, this is my least favorite Disney film of all time. This film completely sucks. It got terrible the animation, I guess the animation is good, I guess. But, you know, it's got terrible characters. It's they're stereotypical characters that you don't give a crap about. Ow, like, the animation, while I said it was nice, there's nothing all that spectacular. The voice actors, they're just phoning it in. The film, like, doesn't even care to focus on the story. It just focuses more on only writing songs and romances and... Oh, God. This movie was truly disappointing. This is the only film on this top ten list I give an F. This film... I couldn't get into. I, I couldn't stand any second of this movie. The first time I watched it in theaters, I said it was okay. After rewatching the theaters, I really didn't like it. This film is a terrible film. I think, for me, it gets an F. If you guys like it, that's completely fine. But overall, I don't like this film. So anyway, that was my, um, that was my top ten movies that I hate, but everyone else seems to like. In the comment section below, what is a movie that you like, but everyone else hates? Eight. I just showed you 10 of mine. Anyway, if you guys this, like this video, or give it a like, give it a thumbs up, I should say, and uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification icon so that you will get notified whenever a new video comes out. Uh, also, also, if you want to, comment down below what move, which one of these lists here should I rank? Which one should I rank next? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next... Hold on. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.